undoubtedly each of my attempts, even my worst attempt, will smash your records. Yeah, I I believe it. Do it. <laughs> Do a million speed runs every day. Dedicate oh, your man. life to it, please. I was I was playing some NV two uh, the other day. Yeah. Oh. Uh, like it, just trying hard on a level for ten minutes made my fingers hurt. <laughs> I think it's like that thing where people who some people who play games grip their mouse mice really hard right but like i, I guess i just ex use my fingers very hard on my keyboard when i play it mm. okay so the stream is up um or at least i assume it's up i hit the start streaming button yeah it appears to be up <laughs> um yeah i see it okay so, I guess I will start. That is a thing that people usually do in speedruns at some point. Start them. Mm-hmm. Okay, you wanna you wanna give me a countdown? Uh, let's see. Twenty-nine. <laughs> five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Okay. Um, yeah, I, uh, you mentioned you played some V2 the other day. I started, mm -hmm. oh great, I died on the first level. <laughs> um, I, uh, I started playing a little bit again when I started talking to, like, Arsenic and Flipmasta in chat. Um, mm -hmm. Arsenic has some really good levels. I, I don't know if you've seen them at all, or if you've been busy studying and not. stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Arsenic is as good a mapper, I think, as, like, Hyteriax? Oh, yeah, he was good. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I started playing again, and oh my god, it took me so long to get used to that game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, it's, um... The bouncing off the walls is so difficult. Yeah. It's, it's just because you, you, get, you get used to having the, the extra frames. Right. It's like you get used to being able to be lazy. But MV2 was less forgiving. And 1.4 even less forgiving. Yeah. Okay, second level going much better than the first. I haven't died yet on it. Yeah, I'd say that's a good measure of success. Yeah. You know, I only feel like playing M++ when I watch you got when I watch someone, well, pretty much just you stream it. Mm. Otherwise, I never, never attempted to play it. Yeah. Ah, the old super liminal. Super liminal, as you would say. <laughs> yep. Not a bastardization of your accent whatsoever. <laughs> so anyway, um, let's see. Good, good stream conversation. How about uh, how about all those sexual predators? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's um, it's it feels it's like objectively, I should realize, you know. It's good that women, you know, feel more open about talking about it, but it's just so goddamn depressing. Yeah. Oh. I don't know what to do with my hoodie and my shirt for hats of cards. I figure, I like, just keep them and, you know, in, like, five or six years, people might be <laughs> a little less judgmental about you wearing it. Yeah, or I could... <clears throat> I'm planning on just continuing my general apathy and wearing them anyway. Yeah. Something I was wondering about with, uh, with all of that, like, Netflix has said this last season of, the Ho of House of Cards is the last one, right? They've mm -hmm. decided to end it. Uh, and, like, I get that. I still haven't seen House of Cards. It's, it's still on my list, but I imagine House of Cards without Kevin Spacey isn't much of a show anymore. No, you're right. It's so, like... like 
Like, if you Even had if to choose a... to fire him, you might as well just cancel the show. Yeah. But it's like... a shame, because he's a terrible person, clearly. But he was yeah. a goddamn good actor. Goddamn right. good actor. But yeah, it's, it's such a shame. The, the thing I was thinking about was with the Louis C.K. stuff. Uh... They... As, you know, like, punishment or whatever, uh, FX, the channel that he does a bunch of stuff with, has taken his executive producer title and all the payment and stuff away from the, like, four shows that he's executive producer on. Uh, one of the shows was still in pre-production, and I don't... I'm not sure if they cancelled it entirely or if they're just halting production temporarily. Yeah, interesting. But they're basically stopping the show because of this, at least for now. Wow. And that like really sucks. <laughs> other people work on that show. It's not just him. Yeah. So Yeah, wow. That's really tough on them. Yeah. And like I Well I guess if, if they're salaried it wouldn't be too tough. Right. <laughs> or like I I guess he was in a movie recently that like he and John Malkovich made or something that's been getting a lot of buzz at film festivals. Uh, and, like, this is a movie that people have already s seen. It's finished and been shown at festivals, and they're deciding to not give it a full release because of this. Uh... And that's that's another one where, like, other people have a stake in this. Yeah, that's... I don't like that. Yeah, I just... I don't know. I don't know about some should... of this stuff. Ideally, they try and reach a deal with him where he'd donate his proceeds to something. Yeah. Because that's pretty that's pretty rough for everyone else. He's worked hard, presumably. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> it's just, if I ever go to the front page of Reddit now and I see a celebrity's name, it's almost more tempting just to knock with it and not find out what's going on. Right. Because... It's just depressing news every time. Oh, it doesn't enhance my life knowing these things. The, the no news lifestyle is certainly the way to go. Yeah. I, uh. That's almost the way I live, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's a lot less depressing. Yeah. Once I got burnt out of politics, which is like January this year. Yeah. It's like, no, no, no news, no news at all. Yeah. One, that's... one in a thousand stories will get through to me. When, like that's... the Louis C.K. That was about the stuff. time I stopped paying attention to politics too. <laughs> it's just like it's a you know what? Depressing time. The the headlines in the U.S. have been the same since Trump was elected. <laughs> Donald Trump does some dumb shit. I just, I don't care anymore. It's yeah. always going to be the same. There will never yeah. be consequences for him. So I just stopped paying attention. Yeah, pretty much. He's, a, he's an interesting fella. Yeah. Unfortunate that he is in the position he is. Yeah. <laughs> Unlucky. I heard the, uh, a lot of, um, state elections went towards the democrats this uh, uh these last couple of weeks <laughs> so yeah, happy about that so hopefully <laughs> uh things will be getting better when you know a lot of the house and senate seats come up are you guys you guys have state elections at different times to the federal election uh kind of the uh house and like the the Congress seats are every two year or it's weird. It's like it's every six years, but that six year interval is different depending on where you live. Yep. Right. Yeah. Half the members are three years. Half the members are have been there for three years. No. Uh, it's thirds. Uh, oh. a third of them have been there for two years, a third for four, and a third are oh, up wow. for re-election. Yeah. Interesting. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing with these drones. Oh my god, that- I just got through this level so quickly, that's like four seconds. Oh wait, this is an episode run, I have no idea how long that took. 
<laughs> um. Anyway, Man, yeah. Some nostalgic levels. Yeah, U.S. selection cycles are weird, though. Interesting. We have all of our because our upper house is six years, and right. our lower house is three years. Mm. But the upper house is only they only have it in halves, so they always have the election at the same time. I see. It's pretty convenient. Yeah. Although you know, don't really have it. Doesn't matter if what's convenient. You get fined if you don't turn up anyway. <laughs> yeah. How much? How much is the fine? Fifty bucks, I think, for your first oh. offense. Okay. Yeah. It's more just a, like a kick in the ass than yeah. being actually serious. Yeah. Is 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 staying at home worth fifty bucks to you? Right. That's basically the question. Most people, it's not apparently ninety-seven percent or whatever. Yeah. You know, the other thing about the no news lifestyle is when you when I tried it out for like two months, I looked at all the news for at the start of the period, and then I blocked out all news. And after that, I came back, and ninety nine percent of those stories were never never talked about ever again. Yeah, it's just it's amazing how much shit there is. Back when uh when Trump was running initially, and he started talking about how terrible the news system was I initially was happy because mm. I agree our current news system is garbage because of exactly that there's yeah. a lot of stories at any given time and nothing comes of most of them but then he you know was not talking about that at all he was just talking about fake news and trying to discredit yeah. journalists and stuff and it seems like he does have an understanding of how bad it is, but instead of doing anything, he just <laughs> utilizes that for his own purposes. Yeah. Is, um, have you heard of this guy called Scott Adams, the Dilbert guy? Yeah. He was on a podcast that I listened to recently with a really interesting, clever guy who talks about well, all sorts of issues. Well, you know, recently, I mean, seven months ago. Um, yeah. But he was, the, he was arguing... If you, if you dissect what he was arguing, it was awful arguments, but it was so convincing listening to him say it. It was like, it was terrifying how capable he was of convincing. It was, and he was arguing against someone who's like a very practiced debater and, and discusser of issues. It was, some people's capability is really frightening. Yeah. So you through your exam period? Me? Yeah. Uh, no, I graduated. You finished uni. Yeah. Okay. So you've had your exam period. That was a long time ago. I graduated back in June. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. I seem to recall you saying something about it recently. Maybe you were talking about it. Interesting. I think our communication has been very sporadic. Yeah. Wow, Maybe. So what have you been doing? Looking for jobs? Yeah, pretty much. It's uh. N plus plus speed runs. I've been looking for a career in N plus plus, but it's not working out. So. Yeah, it turns out there's not a lot of people who want to view, <laughs> who play the game. So I uh, I figured I should look for a career in the thing I actually studied. Um. It's a pretty, pretty crazy idea. Yeah. No, I, uh, I waited for a little while before looking for a job, because I figured, you know, I'm, I've been in school for, like, a hundred years or whatever. I kind of want to break for a little bit before working. Uh -huh. And I, I live in a, not, like, rich family, but, you know, well, middle class, we don't really worry that much about money. Uh -huh. Um... So, yeah, I, I waited for a little bit before looking for work, and 
Oh, that's right. I recall you said something about an application to HP. Yeah. Yeah, I've been looking now. That? Uh, HP has not gotten back to me yet. Ah, uh, classic big corporations. <laughs> it takes yep. ten years. Yeah. Yeah. There was a um when I was looking for a job when I was like fifteen, I applied all over the place, and it was like thirteen months later I got an email from the, one of the big banks that I applied to. Oh yeah. This is after I had worked for nine months and quit my job. <laughs> they emailed me back saying. No, we have rejected you. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Bank. <laughs> it's insane. Um, yeah, I, uh... I've applied to a number of places at this point, and I've not been getting, like, any responses. I got a call mm. from one place, uh, and was... It was a bad call. Did I tell you about that at all? No, I don't think so. I was so mad about this. So, usually, a company will, like, call and say, like, yeah, you're Zando Toaster or whatever. And I'll be like, yes, I am. And they'll say, oh, you're interested in working for us. Okay, uh, can we, you know, schedule a time for an interview? Something like that, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, and we schedule a time for an interview and then do that. Well, I got a call from someone who said, yeah, is this Zando Toaster? And I said, yes, it is. And then he just started interviewing me. <laughs> I was totally unprepared for it, totally caught off guard. Uh, that was the first test. Did not give any good answers. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, and then, like, five weeks later, got an email from them saying, yeah, we're sorry, we went with a different candidate. <laughs> Jesus, man. Yeah. God. I've been, um, do you remember, oh, I don't know how long ago it was, I had the idea of a trip in America? Yeah. With, um, Cooper Trooper, Saw Gloves, whatever. Right. I can't remember what his, what his username is now. It's Tristan. Whatever. Well, yeah, sure. I, I don't know how, I don't know what he's happy with. Anyway, it's, um, I've gotten three job interviews in the last week. So, uh, looking, looking pretty likely. Nice. One of them is one of them is like ten hours of work from home, which is <laughs> unbelievable as, yeah. as someone with no established history of working. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Lock that down. Yeah. Lock down. Should be fun. There's um, you know vaguely of Overwatch. I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it to you a couple times. The, the game Overwatch. Uh, I didn't hear that. What'd you say? Do you remember the game Overwatch? I think I've talked to you about it a couple times. Oh, the game Overwatch. That game that mm. you've told me about. Yes, I'm familiar yeah. with it. Yeah, it's uh, the one that I am slightly, vaguely, extremely addicted to. Yeah. Um, well, they have, uh, they're going to have their, like, like a sports league of it held in LA. And when we go to America, or well, if, when, if slash when we go to America. Right. Um, we, might, we might be able to go to some of those matches. That'd be cool. Yeah. Bear it back in just one minute. Okay. I'm back. I have just got to set up a game for these amateur noobs. Ah, uh, gotta help the noobs. The, well, I mean, I'm pretty. All of them are actually better than me. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is why I do the moderation, not the playing. 
Well, yeah, but you're the one doing commentary on a on a live stream right now, so you can call oh, them dudes. Mm, yes, good point. Yeah. Um, well, I've been looking for jobs recently. Mm hmm Uh, one of the things I started looking into, and I don't, I'm probably not going to do this, but, uh, I started looking at federal government jobs. Ooh, interesting. Um, because I don't mind, you know, moving somewhere far away. The, mm hmm the worst part of that would just be that I've never lived outside a home before, uh, and so I'd kind of like to stay yeah. closer, but, yeah, yeah, you know, it's not a huge deal breaker. So you'd be going to, what, DC then, I guess? Uh, possibly. A lot of the wow. jobs for computer people, um, were, like, military bases, um, like the, you know, the Air Force is looking for people, stuff like that. Hmm. Uh, and I saw that there's an Air Force base in Ohio um, that's looking for someone right now. Oh. Go, uh, go visit golf. <laughs> well, he told me, I mean, I, I told him the city it was near, and he was like, oh, that's kind of near where I live. Wow. So... I'm, I probably won't do it, but I, I did seriously consider getting a job in Ohio specifically so that I could do N++ co-op with someone. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure that would make me the biggest N fan in, uh, <laughs> I think choose my career, qualified. move across the country, <laughs> <laughs> just to do co-op. Yeah, that that would qualify you as the biggest fan, I think. Yep. Yeah. Oh, although moving to Melbourne to play it with me, that would that would be a step above anything else. That's true. I I did look to see if there were any Australian government jobs uh, that would be easy to get. Um. I don't know. I feel like moving to a different country would be a little bit more work than. Moving to Ohio. Yeah, very possibly. Yeah, that, that is. Oh, shit. Hey. Halfway done. Blockchain. I'm getting a lot of buffering on the stream, unfortunately. Mm. This is foul play. Too far. Boy, this level. And what? Interesting the, to guess which which end game they're from. This one. Uh, oh my god, I beat it. That level for some reason always gives me so much more trouble than it has any reason to. Ah, oh, this is this is a classic one. Although I think I'm quite a way behind you. Oh, 
Oh, that was dumb of me. I just started this level and went in the exact opposite direction that I did when I was practicing earlier. Genius. Oh my god. These dodges. Pro toaster right here. Pog champ dodge, is that right? Oh, who did? No, no. I'm oh. saying, is that a was that a pog champ dodge? Ah. Oh my god. Oh boy. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, there are a lot of ugly levels in this series. Yes. Yeah. And just drop on down and at the door. There we go. That's better. Heck yeah. Oh my god. I was telling, uh, I guess it would have been Muzz in, uh, my stream chat the other day. Mm -hmm. I've, I've been really impressed by this thing that MetaNet implemented into this game, where whenever you say, oh great, I did it, uh, that's when you fuck up. I, I don't know how they programmed that into the game, <laughs> but it's, it's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Genius game designers. Yeah. It is actually stunning how many people have played the original land games. Like, just random teachers at my school who see kids playing. It's like, oh, I used to play that in high school, or I used to play that in here. Insane. That's, that's awesome. It's just a shame they couldn't, um, couldn't get all those people to buy on Plus Plus, really. Yeah. Yeah, the N, I think it was probably 1.2 was the one that was floating around a lot of Flash game sites. Mm, that, that, sounds right, yeah. that influenced so many people. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, it's not like I need to tell you you're, you got about as big into the N history as I did. <laughs> yeah, and spent way too much time playing that damn game. Oh, thousands of hours. Oh god. Makes me feel slightly sick to remember <laughs> <laughs> how much time was spent on this game. Oh. Jesus. This is an awful level. It's so this hard. Tunnel. It's so hard to see where you're going. Yeah. I don't know if I like that headband thing. Seems kind of distracting. Also really cool, but kind of distracting. It is kind of distracting, but this is the headband that you get for uh, beating all of the question mark levels. Oh shit. Uh, and that took a lot of work, and I just feel so good whenever I look at this headband now. Fair enough. And that is the only reason I use it. I I usually really don't like the headpans. Mm -hmm. oh. It's been interesting 
routing some of these levels for speedrunning. Oh, yeah. uh, just because you're, you know, you need to look at them in a way that you usually don't. And it's, Interesting. it's surprised me a lot of the levels, how many of the switches you don't need to hit. <laughs> like they're just there for gold or oh, yeah. like an optional different path. And I'm just so used to hitting all of them anyway for AGDs. Yeah, and just the general feeling of completion. Yeah. Completionism. Noobs, noobs everywhere. Has Oxy been around? Oxymoron? Um, I'm not totally sure. I didn't think he had, but he pops up in v2 chat occasionally interesting he's around enough that arsenic and flipmasta still talk about him like he's still playing right okay interesting I'm i don't making... think he ever got into plus plus mm, yeah uh, he was uh, i was pretty sure i couldn't believe how much he played considering he was like studying 24 7. yeah he was like do you remember his sleep schedule was like <clears throat> Play N until 3 a.m. Wake up at 7 a.m. for classes. Jeez. <laughs> I still couldn't believe that he started about the same time as me, but I mean, I guess with a play schedule like that, that explains why he'd get so good. Yeah. Yeah, wow, well, exactly. Play, play way too much and you get good. Yeah. A wonderful 2,500 plus hours does. To my right. poor, poor fingers. Annoying. It's really a shame that he didn't put speed running into M. Yeah. It's such a shame. It was such a good addition to, um, in reality. Right. Because Eddie can't dominate everything. <laughs> unfortunate difference between your friend Archie and me is that I cannot actually watch what you're playing because I'm watching you 30 seconds behind. Ah, oh, right. Mm, it's unfortunate. We should have, uh, we should have done the Discord screen share, but I have no idea how good that actually is. <laughs> yeah. I've heard not great things about it. I have also, yes. Well, one nice thing about doing this row is if I'm swearing at a level a lot, you can probably assume it's whatever level you're looking at. <laughs> that is an excellent point, yes. Oh man, I'm so looking forward to seeing what this 19.4 is. It's just... Ugh. I don't think I even hated it in uh i don't think it was in v2 i think it was just 1.4 mm -hmm. um i don't think i even hated it there it's just once i 
you know, tried high scoring it, uh, doing it at all quickly, I realized how awful it is, how terribly it was designed. Yeah, just, yeah. Just playing for completion, it's it's not that bad. It's not a great level, but there are certainly worse. Right, yeah. Oh shit. Oh, yeah, shit, there, I... There, I found there were a lot of levels like that. Oh. Although there were some, like that stupid skull level in V2. God. Oh man. Oh. I went back to playing that recently. That level specifically. Mm. Um... And you remember Championship Load Runner in N++, I assume. The name is extraordinarily familiar, but it doesn't come to mind. It's X1904 on the N++ tab. Uh, okay. It's the one where there's a bunch of... Um, I mean, it's the same kind of gimmick as that skull level, where there's a rocket in the level and a bunch of rows of one-way platforms. Uh, hmm. and you need to w work your way up the level to the exit switch and then back down to the door. Is um, it like B-Row? Let me have a look. Yeah, ask, ask any for a, a screenshot of it. Oh, good idea. How, do, how, how does this command work? Uh, you PM any plus plus something like screenshot of a uh, championship load runner. Or, you know, SX1904. But I think it's just screenshot of, is the mm -hmm. command. Oh, yes, yes, that's right, I remember this. Yeah, yeah, so now that I've beaten Championship Load Runner, I went back to that skull level, and it's so easy in comparison. <laughs> yeah. I remember when I was getting the high score for that, because I think at some point I got the zero for that god awful level. Um, yeah. Even though I was spending all this time repeating the routes, it was still extremely difficult to get like a consistent parting of that stupid goddamn rocket. Right. Yeah, it was a goddamn pain. Good thing is that means not many people are going to try and challenge that. Which was like the motivation for 90% of my zeroes. Hmm, not likely anyone will take this from me. Yeah. That's why I chose a lot of my top 10s. <laughs> and then stupid Oxy. <laughs> Doing all the same levels. Stupid Oxy deciding to be clearly the best player V2 ever seen. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. Did Do you know if he tried much of 1.4? I remember when, when everyone was getting back into 1.4 for a short period of time. I did see him on some leaderboards, but never really much, no. Yeah. It, it's, when you get used to playing 60 FPS, playing the... There's like, there's no, it just, just always feels bad to play the 40 FPS version. Right. Even though, you know, objectively it is a better system and whatever. It just feels awful to play. Awful. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, I don't know if he could have, like, been Grandmaster of 1.4 or anything, because Eddie is, you know, amazing. Eddie's a god, yeah. But he definitely could have gotten, you know, loads of top 20s at least. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. But like Macro Henry and, what's his, and Eddie are just on a completely different level to everyone else. They're nuts. Right. Absolutely nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, I don't like this level either. The last one of this episode. Um. Just so much waiting in drones. E1304, <laughs> it looks like. Oh, I remember this level. This is the first top 10 I got on V2. Ah. I'm gonna wait a few seconds for it to load up and I will see what it is. It was E1400. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is that run that Wild had a nuts run on. Yeah. Good old white whale. I'm so glad he came back into into boss boss. That's great. Me too. I'm I happy. How... I'm happy that he was one of the few people who has a hundred percent. And easy. Wow. <clears throat> er, 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. He's Borland, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's the only person who... I mean, I don't follow this stuff as much as other people do, but I think he's the only person who has 100% pre-ultimate and as much of ultimate as you can get, but there's a bugged thing. Interesting. Not Zayla. I thought Zayla had at some point. Yeah, I think Zayla might be missing something in ultimate, but I'm not... Again, I don't follow it as much. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just glad that Borland has, you know, wide respect of the end community now. <laughs> yeah, because he was a god, but he just disappeared. Yeah. It doesn't it matter how good you are at V2. <laughs> People aren't really going to respect you for it. Yeah. We'll see if over the coming summer holidays, depending on how much work I get, will depend on how much my end skill improves. Because <laughs> <laughs> right now, oof, rusty as hell. Yeah. Can't do like even with the the kind frame, so to speak, of the N plus plus. I still tr struggle to triple jumps when I used to have like ninety nine percent consistency on those things. Hmm. I never got good at those. Yeah. Well. Did you spend 2,500 hours on this game? <laughs> uh, close to it. I just never uh, practiced uh, those. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, uh, Although, I'm, I mean, I was, I was always dedicated. also more interested in mapping than you were, so... That's true, spent that's true. Time I'm also that. vastly more capable. I mean, in my humble opinion, my maps yeah. are awful. It's like it takes... Enormous amount of work to get onto a decent level. You remember all my. 90% oh, of my levels was trash can level. Huh. I don't know, I like Amer them. American lingo. Well, yeah, they're like. They're kind of fun, but they're not. <laughs> they're not good maps. Well, they're yeah. Just, they're fun to do like a couple of runs through, yeah. Which is yeah, the only purpose because I was bored as hell. I'm just trying to find things to do. So when other people didn't make enough levels for me, I just made my own. That was the only reason I made levels. Right. Oh, what happened to that Numa uh, contest, or is that still going on? Oh, Phantasm? The one we mm. made a couple of maps for? Yeah. I think that ends the 15th. What is the date today? The, the 11th. 11th? It. It, does, it does end on the 15th. Very nice. Let's see how many... Oh, let's see how many people have submitted maps. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I, I don't think either of us are going to win. I really like my map, but... I forget who it oh, was, like, uh, a year yes. or someone gave a really good one. Let's see. Arsenic, Adiera, and Shaf. Arsenic's... Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Sinistry. Adiera's is... weird. It's I guess the, it's... like, blocky it's the... pumpkin one, right? Yeah, yeah. It looks weird, but it is, it is a good map. Yeah. And those those Numa people have weird tastes, so I, I think he's got it. <laughs> yeah. I feel like those... Oh, I keep forgetting the name of those religious people who wear funny hats. The Amish? Yeah. Like yeah. them. They have weird tastes. In their own little, little community where they stick with, stick with themselves. Right. You can tell that either they disappear or stick with themselves based on the activity of the old uh, in reality channel. Yeah. The last three, the last... Yeah, no, there's nothing. Absolutely nothing. I guess Eddie's not around that much anymore. No. He jumps on and does some high scoring on plus plus every once in a while, but really not that much. Show everyone who's boss. Yeah. Is it, I assume he's still boss. Um, well... I mean, he's, you know, still great, but it's hard to tell at this point. Both Zayla and JP are also great. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if he just doesn't put as much time into it as he does the, the 1.4 runs. Yeah. Well, also, the 1.4 runs are like a series of, like, the, the ones that are beaten are a series of unbelievably hard tricks to pull off, usually. Right. Like there's a lot of all the all the simpler levels that you can 
easily just grind away in high school. There's no way you can get a zero from that. All of them are hard and complex levels that, get, that used to get taken. Yeah. Um, and that requires the, the old Eddie macro touch. Right. Of being a demigod at this game. Yeah, I did get all the switches. There. Hmm. Well, I said a moment of panic. I forgot I was supposed to be moderating the game. Oh. And, uh, they um, <laughs> I thought they caused out called out for a pause, but alas, someone was just kidding. Just kidding. A very funny joke. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Hilarious. Everybody laughs. I should, yeah, well, I'll put, just put it on my other window. I'm a, I'm a rich boy with two monitors, so I can just keep it on my other window. Mm. Not actually, though. My monitor, there's one's $80 and one of them's borrowed, so I would not quite describe it as a rich. Yeah. Oh. Yep, there's a lot of levels in the row now that I do not recognize at all. I th I imagine a lot of them are from N+. Yeah, I guess so. I really should get around to playing that one day. Although, I guess yeah. not. N++ is probably a better priority. You're you're not missing much with N+. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, that's right. It's got that stupid camera shit. Yeah, the, oh. the Xbox was okay because... You could basically turn that off. You can zoom out all the way. Oh, okay, right. Uh, but N Plus on the DS, it's just a bad game. <laughs> was that, which Xbox was it on? Uh, Xbox Live Arcade, so 360. Right, and there's no emulator for that, is there? No. God, I wish. Balls. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, right. I dusted I'm off my out. family's old 360 and bought N Plus. <sighs> I guess like a couple of years ago at this point, uh, <laughs> just to try it out, and it's fine, but Interesting. Yeah. at this point, after spending so much time on V2 and 1.4, I don't know that it was worth the, like, $15. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. It was a kind of magic to end, but I don't understand why it's so addicting. Yeah. Mir and Reagan are witches. That's probably it. They are literally witches. Okay, if that practice on E1904 paid off, I might actually still get a sub one hour run here. Mm -hmm. But that's, you know. Ah. If Zero the said practice put one is the only person who got, who got 100%. What'd you say? Well, at some point, Zelo said Ballin is the only one that got 100%. Hmm. this level too.
Titan. Drones. Never going where I expect them to. Oh wow, this is a long web. Yeah. This is dash two, I think I'm saying. This level would probably be a lot easier if I'd just stop jumping into the mines. That'd be ridiculous. It's the uh the T plus 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 route. You need to hit all the toggle mines and also all of the actual mines. <laughs> okay. I should have this now. There we go. Ah, uh, that's the wrong way. Sub one hour, maybe. Oh, that's but Xander's just is a noob, so I'm sure he'll throw on the last level. Yeah. It's a massive noob. This is going to be really close. I'm running out of time here. I okay. did not have that problem in practice. <laughs> Maybe... Yeah, I should just go for this gold. There. Oh. Problem solved. Fair enough. There we go. Okay. One episode left. Ten minutes. Easy. Can Stop I do... Can I do E1904 in 10 minutes, is the question. <laughs> well, I, I don't even know what it looks like yet. I remember this. I think this is 1.4 long. Debo, where he kept dying in the last level for like 5 minutes. This is you, Toast. When you were doing the Debo, you died at the, on the last level for like 5 minutes. Yeah. Uh... I was having that problem on X row a bunch. With uh, a bunch. Well, slippery trip hazard in practice. <laughs> first try every time. So easy. Do it in a run. No, it never. Ah, uh, yes. I love that level though. It's so good. It is a good level. Unlike. E1904, which is a garbage level made by idiots. <laughs> Ooh. I should try to play this level a little safe. It's so long, so many mines, I don't want to have to do it again. This is O2. Hey, first try, yeah. Nice. So... On to O3 nice. now. Get hyped. It's, a, it's interesting, the huge variation in in level quality in V2. Some of them are like, wow, this is a really well-designed level. And some are just like, did you just randomly drop drones all over the place? It's just, no. <laughs> okay, here we are. E1904. Seven minutes. Oh, 
Uh. <laughs> See, they recommend you jump between the mines so that you're faster. Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to finish this sometime. <laughs> like, sub one hour run, maybe. I'd like it to be sub two hours, though, so I'm not gonna try that. Well, you never, you never succeed in a run like that with that attitude, Toast. Okay, fair enough. Mm. Well. Oh, I got one. Ooh, got got another one. Yeah, I, I don't think that's working. <laughs> hmm. I wasn't paying much attention to time, but I think I should have enough time for this one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Did you die? No, I just messed up and need to use a backup route. That's probably gonna get me killed. Oh, hey, it didn't get me killed. That's nice. Yeah. Oh. It's a backup route that gets one of the drones out of here and makes the whole uh. level a little bit easier, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, nope. Fuck. That's <laughs> not what I wanted to do. Come on, improvisation skills. Don't fail me now. Just gotta... Oh, come on. Just gotta get this switch. And go down. And go up here. Oh, God. I don't know that I have enough time. I need this drone to get out of here, though. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. I don't have enough time. No! Oh! Oh! Oh, I was next to the door. There was oh, a drone God. in the way. Okay. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I guess I'll get this gold near the Gauss turret. <laughs> that is unfortunate. <laughs> I think I just heard my dreams die. <laughs> Doesn't getting that gold mess up your drone route? Uh, no. It puts me on time with that backup route that I used last time. Okay, right. So now I can do, you know, the same thing I just did, but with, like, 30 more seconds. Should be enough. Depends on how new you are. <laughs> yeah. Ziva says one hour and one second incoming. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I just need to wait for this guy now. There we go. And time. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, sub one hour. That's a poke champ. And that level only took four minutes, about. Man, well, are you a god? Maybe. It's the next, it's the next Eddie. <laughs> oh, God. I must say, <laughs> this doesn't make me want to play M++ as much as your other streams have. Well, yeah, that's that's understandable. I hate this row. <laughs> I, it's the worst legacy row. Yeah. It's almost as hard as X row, and it's just not fun. Yeah, yeah. The levels are a pain. Like, a lot of them are a pain. Yeah. I really like D-Row. X-Row is a lot of fun, but... Bleh. E-Row, gross. Yeah. Okay. So now that I've accomplished that, I'm just gonna... AGD, Robot Heaven. First try here. Let's go. Hell I... yeah. Totally forgot my route for this. That's right. You're the next editor. You can just make it up. That's true. I am. Nope. I died. I lived longer than I expected to, but I, I did eventually die. What? What a noob. <laughs> Can't even AGD robot heaven in one try. God, that is. No, oh, that's a disgusting level. <laughs> <laughs> 
I, uh... I keep going back and forth on Robot Heaven. Where, uh... You know, sometimes I'm playing it and I think, like, man, this is just brilliant drone placement. This is so well designed, I love this. And other times I'm like, this is combining all the worst aspects of this game. It's such a random level, you can't plan anything. Yeah. It's like, um, that's what, that's what my thoughts were on half of A and B row back in B2. Yeah. Columns, rather. Oh, well, I'm happy enough with that run. Yeah, it was, it was good. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to see you in immense pain for a long time, struggling yeah. over that. That was, that was what I was looking forward to. Uh, sometime... Here's what I'll do. Uh, when I finish unlocking all of the ultimate secret levels, uh, I'll do a blind speed run of them, and you can watch <laughs> that. I estimate it will take a week. Um, and we can just see that's, how that goes. I would say that's quite optimistic of you. <laughs> I, I don't think that... I don't, I don't think that would ever be possible. Hey, slippery trip hazard. Like, fourth try. There we go. Well, I think, uh... Tomorrow night is the last time... The last night that I have the house to myself again. Mm -hmm. So I'm probably going to do at least one more X-Row run tomorrow. Try to improve my run on that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I'm going to call it good on this stream, though. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm pretty happy with how that went. Yeah, so an hour. I'll just have to get sub-10 minutes. Yeah. Thanks for watching, Zayla. Um, and, um... Oh, shit, who's this other guy in chat? Shom... something? I just, just ignore him, he's a noob. Yeah, well... Not, not, not worth the time of day. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.